Setting up an interactive prophetic art table at your church may be a great way to grow your prophetic arts community. I'm gonna give you a few quick tips on how to do a prophetic art table well. Welcome to Celebration State, where we help Christian creatives to grow in their creativity and in their love for God as well. So the first thing you're gonna need is a table. It doesn't actually matter the size of the table, just make sure that it's not gonna be in the way wherever you're putting it. Which brings me to another thing that's very important. It's not a supply list, but just keep in mind, if your leadership is not on board with growing the prophetic arts at your church, then you don't wanna be either right now. Right now, focus in on developing your prophetic voice with the Lord and don't try to push for anything at your church. It's very important that we come under submission to our leadership and go with the vision, as long as it's biblical, <laughs> that they have for the church. And if a prophetic arts community is not part of that, that's okay because God will sustain you, okay? You don't have to have a strong prophetic arts community around you to be developing your own voice. That's part of what this channel is about. That's part of why I'm here. Please comment down below if I can help support you in any way like this online, long distance, I would love to be there for you. So no matter what size table you have, you're going to want to make sure that you cover the mess factor. Art is messy. And so you may want to put like what I do, a drop cloth down to cover any potential mess that might occur. Now, I don't even recommend using materials that are super messy, but a tablecloth or a drop cloth can help it to look a little bit more clean, a little bit nicer, a little bit softer than just a bare table. You can definitely do just a bare table, but plan on potentially cleaning it down every time that you use it. You are also going to want some sort of signage that welcomes people into the artistic process, whether they heard the announcement from the pastor at the beginning of service or not. What I like to use for this is just a little picture frame that says, hey, come and make art with God. And there's lots of different ways that you could do this though. Be creative. Let me know in the comments if you think of something else that could be good for this. The next thing you're going to need is a light source and possibly an extension cord if you're not right by an outlet. But this is going to come in super handy if your church possibly dims the lights during service or if the church relies on natural light and the sun's going to be going down. And what you want for your light source is something that is unobtrusive and yet effective. Something that casts enough light, but isn't going to like blind people on stage who are trying to lead worship or anything like that. I recommend just a simple house lamp, but talk with your pastor and find out if that would work for the look of your church. The final thing that you're going to need is the actual materials, the actual supplies. Now, whenever I am making prophetic art at a church, I typically will use an easel with paints and things, although I've been using charcoal lately and it's been really fun. However, I know that that's what people think of when they think of prophetic art. They think I have to use paint or the Holy Spirit's not moving, but this is not true. <laughs> God can work through any materials, any supplies, and this is especially important for people that are coming in and may not have a ton of experience with artistic materials. So what I like to do is I use materials that are clean and easy to use. So I'm a super big fan of colored pencils. I love colored pencils. And you could also use markers if you want to. Those are fun too, really great. You could even have crayons there if you know that some kids are gonna be coming up to the table. These materials are clean and they don't take prior experience to know how to use them. And then finally, for what people will be drawing on, what they'll be coloring on, I recommend sheets of paper that are different colors. It can be fun too if you have different sizes, but these different colors can give people sort of a place to jump off from, a place to start from. And it's kind of just more fun if they're different colors. So I hope that this was helpful for you and that you got some tips that are gonna help you put into action a prophetic art table at your church. Let me know if you have questions about this and how to do it well. If you wanna support a Christian creative who's trying to bring light into the world, then please support me on my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you wanna come on future creative adventures with us here. Thank you so much for watching. Be so blessed. Thank you.